Hi, I'm Danny Boyle, you're watching Mariners TV. Play not the kind of night that you've been wanting, how do you reflect on the game? Um, just a disappointing night really. Uh, just as a whole, wasn't good enough. Uh, simple as that and uh, to be fair, we've, we've, been, we've been told that and, and the lads have, have um, spoke up and, and said the same. So we all, we're all disappointed, we know, we know it wasn't good enough. And, um, really, no matter what competition it is, we shouldn't be shouldn't be losing at home. But, you know that's one of our real strong and strong points as, as a football club. So yeah, we're we're disappointed. Even though you were ahead at half time, was it still things in the first half performance that the warning signs were there? Do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think I think so. It was just like to me, it just felt a little bit slow um, as we got into the opposition half and. Um, obviously, we're, we're known for, for like faster tapping football, and uh, I don't think it was that tonight. Obviously, we're in a good position at half time, but um, yeah, again, just just disappointed with how it it's, um, came out as a, as a whole. So the main thing is the result today as well, but there will be positives to take from it in the cold light of day. The fact that more minutes in the likes of yourself and then more experience for the young lad as well, so there will be some positives to take, I guess. Yeah, for, and I think that's that's what everyone has to take individually is, is you know, take the positives out of the game. For me, from a personal point of view, it's, it's 90 minutes, um, which I've obviously not had on since since the last game before um, the FA Trophy where I injured my ankle. So yeah, it's 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 a positive that I've played 90, and um, it, like you say, for the young lads, it's, it's more experience for them. Um, you know, the, for the really young ones, they'll have load of games like that in their career. So it's how they bounce back from that now, and obviously for myself as well. Um, you know, still trying to trying to break into the team, so um, yeah, just gotta just gotta bounce back once to come in on Thursday night and and hopefully sort of start to get get myself back in the team. These last few weeks must be really frustrating for you, missing the sort of festive period. Yeah, really frustrating. You know, it's been difficult. I think um, the the positive is that the, the team kept winning. Uh, it's, it's obviously difficult when you when you're out and and kind of play a part, but that that's been. That's been um, the big plus is that the team's been doing well. So, and obviously I've found that the last two or three games I've not started, which is understandable because of how, how well the team's been doing. And obviously Kieran done well and, and Back has been playing there recently as well. So, it's um, that that was that's been the plus. But yeah, from a personal point of view, it was really disappointing. That, um, I just had to had to take a few weeks off completely to, to let the, the swelling go and just been trying to build build it back up and. And it's been feeling good, so I'm hoping for a strong second half of the season. Just finally, this Whitten Albion on Saturday, we always have a really tough battle against them, and you must be expecting more of the same on Saturday. Yeah, it'll be a, probably a similar game tonight, a real physical game, and like I say, we'll have to, we'll have to react from that tonight and bounce back, and, and hopefully we can you know, overcome that on Saturday and, and start to play some football and, and, and get a good result.